Are you having trouble finding a doctor? What about making a doctor's appointment? Well, we keep reporting how Nevada's shortage of medical workers keeps affecting you. And the problem keeps growing as more people are moving here. A new report breaks down how low Nevada ranks, but how a new medical school will help. Wait times to get an appointment are really extreme. If we increase the number of physicians, that shortens wait time and hopefully in turn increases the quality of care. More health care workers to help more Nevadans. That's the goal of the brand new UNLV Kirkacorian School of Medicine building right beside UMC. A new report from the Lindsay Institute at UNLV breaks down how badly Nevada needs more doctors. The fifth worst state for health care. Highest percentage of one star acute care hospitals. A low number of Las Vegas locals working in health care, lagging behind Fort Worth, Texas, and Oklahoma City. The problem's well known to state lawmakers. In a 2020 report, Nevada ranks 49th for primary care doctors per capita and 50th for surgeons and psychiatrists. We really have a long way to go. So hopefully with this increased space to train the next generation of physicians, we're going to be able to increase our class size. We need to train more. We also need to attract more. Dr. Khan, dean of the UNLV School of Medicine, says the brand new 135,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility will attract better talent and grow each class size of future doctors by 50 percent. The number of grads could even double if and when the state funds more teaching staff. More grads could go on to work here in the Valley if the state funds more residencies for training at local hospitals. A medical student is about 50 percent likely to stay and practice in Nevada if they've gone to medical school here. If they do residency here as well, that number goes up to almost 80 percent. The new school will be part of a new UNLV medical district by UMC. A new ambulatory care center and lab for testing and research must be built by 2026. The same report also states these changes will bring more mental health resources, pediatric care, attract new companies, and bring 4,600 jobs to the region by 2030. One of the things we need to do is diversify the economy, and one of the ways is in technology and health care. The new Kirk Kikorian School of Medicine building will be open for students in November.